Hello all, this is introduction to password cracking. So what is a hash function? A hash function is a cryptographic algorithm that takes any kind of input and returns a fixed size bit string. The output is often referred to as a hash value or simply as hash. For example, the MD5 hash of input 12345 is this long string over here. It is always one way, so you can't recap the hash back into original text. Commonly used hash functions are MD5, SHA1, SHA256, NTLM, etc. Hash, hashes are used for two functions. One is used for storing passwords, either by web applications or by operating systems. And secondly, it's used to check the integrity of a file. We can make sure that the file that we downloaded uh, is the same as the original file by comparing the hash values. So how hashed password storage works? So when you we'll explain this in three steps. First, when you're setting up the password, uh, the input my password in this case, it goes to the hashing algorithm and the hashed password is stored in the database. Now let's see what happens when the user authenticates. He gives the input my password, it goes to the hashing algorithm and the hashed password is matched with the pa hash in the database and if both the hashes are same, only then the user is authenticated. If he gives a different input, in this case wrong pass, then the hash is different from the hash in the database and the user is not authenticated. How password cracking works? Password cracking is the process of recovering original text from hash values. As I said earlier, there is no direct way to decrypt the password from the hash. So we have to convert a list of strings into hash and compare it to the target hash to find the original text. So this is the simple uh, explanation of how a password cracker works. So you have the input hash over here and you have the string list over here and every single um, string from the list goes through the hash function one by one and the generated hash is compared with the input hash. If it is not equal, then it goes to the next one in the string list. If it is equal, then it returns the corresponding string from the string list and the password is shown in plain text. So there are two methods to uh, password cracking. First one is brute force attack. That is going through every single possible combination of passwords until you hit the right password. And second is called dictionary attack. It uses a dictionary file that contains common passwords and uh, the common passwords like 123456, password, 12345, uh, etc. are stored in the dictionary uh, list. So how do you protect yourself against these sort of attacks? You should use a strong password. So what defines a strong password? A strong password should never contain your name or username. Don't use the names of your pets, spouse, children, friends or parents and always use special characters and numbers in the password and always use lengthy passwords that are longer than 15 characters. So now let's get to the demo of password cracking.